In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to build a navigation menu for your project. And we're going to take some of the information that we learned in the adding pages tutorial and the themes tutorial. So as we looked at, you add pages in Rapid Weaver from the button here. And you create new pages by selecting the type of page that you want to use and that adds them to your project. And then as those pages are added and as they are sorted here on the left, they present themselves in the menu that is designed by the theme. And so you can see that here in the split theme that we have the navigation across the top. Now, if I went into the edit view, and I wanted to, for example, resort these. Let's say, for example, I wanted the blog to be before the About Us page. I'll simply click and drag it up above. You see this blue line indicating that it's going to go right here below home. So I drop it there. And then we can go back and preview the page, and we can see that the order of the menu items has changed. And so it's very simple to reorder those once you've added them to the project. You can also hide a page from being shown in the menu. So you could do that through the page inspector. We click on the inspector button and that would then take us to the general settings, this first tab, and we simply uncheck show a navigation. When that's done, we can then preview. And we see that we only have three pages available in the menu. There are some scenarios where you might want to do that. Of course, in most cases, you would want to link to that hidden page from somewhere else in your website, perhaps through the main content of your pages. Especially if you're going to have long menus, um, a lot of pages added to your project in some cases, it may be helpful to add or to remove pages from the menu by hiding them that way. Now let's go ahead and turn that one back on. I'll show you another way of organizing your menu, um, specifically in cases where you have a lot of pages, and that's by nesting pages underneath existing ones. So let's go and add another page to our project. I'll just choose a styled text page and I'll call this page two. And I'm gonna drag this on top of the home page. So you can see that the home page is highlighted when I drop that on top. It creates a sub page. You can see that this is kind of tabbed over, it's nested underneath home and we have a toggle arrow that lets us see that as well. Now if I select my home page and I go to preview, then I will find that the navigation has been presented to me in a different way. I still have my main navigation menu at the top. In the case of this theme, it places this sub page, page two, right here immediately below the banner image. And so this um, theme offers what's called split navigation, where the second level of navigation is split from the top level. This is the top level here. Any pages that are presented um, like the home blog about us and contact us are top level pages. And so this theme places page two down here in its own section. Now how the navigation is presented will depend on the theme that you choose and the way that it was designed. So let's take a look at some of the different pages or different themes and see how they um, present this menu. So I'll switch to Tesla. We'll close out the theme drawer. Tesla's theme uh, menu is placed below the banner across here. And you can see that as the home page is selected that it receives this kind of caret icon or um, text and it reveals that there is another page below and that page is placed here. Now let's add a few more pages so we can get a better idea of exactly how this is going to look. So I'm going to right click or control click on page two here on the left and choose duplicate. This is a faster way of creating new pages when you want those pages to be the same type of page. So these are all styled text as I simply just duplicated them and then renamed them. And in fact, this needs to be page four. So going back to home, let's preview again. Scroll down. We find the home page is highlighted because that's where we are currently viewing. And then we have page two, page three, and page four. So you can see those all sit horizontally on the same row and that they kind of have this hover effect with the navigation where it shows you what you're currently selecting. And so that builds a submenu that's immediately below the main menu in this case. Now, if we go and look at a different theme, let's scroll up. We'll choose another third party theme that comes with Rapid Weaver. This one's called Allegro. And if we close out the theme drawer and look at this, in this case, it uses a drop down menu. And so this just pop up, pops up as soon as we select that page. You, you notice if I hover over blog, about us, contact us, we don't get a pop up menu. We do as soon as we hover over the home page. And so this drop down menu is just another example of the type of menu that a theme might have. And let's take a look at one more theme. Let's choose this first one called a Pharaoh. 
this is quite different. It presents a vertical navigation. And so in this case, the navigation is displayed vertically down the side of the page. And in this case, the submenu is designated here with again, this kind of carrot and then the number three indicating there are three pages located under home. So if we click on that, it then slides over to reveal those three pages in the menu. And then we can click back to home to take us back to the main menu. And so that is quite different than anything we've seen so far. And so I want to show you these different examples just to show you the diversity of both the styles of the themes, but also how they display and, and uh, provide the uh, menu for you in different ways. Of course, as you add um, more pages, you can add them to other, you can add them underneath other pages in your project. So technically all of these pages could have submenus. And in many cases, you can have multiple submenus. So let's give that a shot. Let's go into the edit view. I'm going to duplicate this page too. We'll call it page five. And I'm going to drag it on top of page two to nest it underneath. And so now we have a um, another level of navigation. We have our top level, our second level, and our third level now with this page. So if we preview again, we'll find that if we click on the second level, that brings up another level here for page two that we can click into to reveal that. Let's go back to the Allegro theme and see how its drop downs work with the third level. So if we hover over page two, we can see it pop out to the right to offer us that page. Most themes will um, support these three levels of navigation. Um, you can check to see if it will go even further. In most cases, they will at least support this third tier navigation. And so if you have a lot of pages in your website and you want to nest pages underneath one another, then that is one way that you can do that. So you would build your menu by adding pages, nesting them, and then even hiding ones that you don't want to display by removing them from the menu in the page inspector. And so it's pretty straightforward, but it offers a lot of flexibility in how you offer navigation to your visitors. So with that, we will go ahead and conclude this tutorial.